Now, it's obviously auction season. It's, uh, we're into spring now. What are some of the tactics that the uh, clever people are using, at, uh, especially your auctions, Tom? What, what are you finding the good guys are doing? Yeah, well, they see it as, you know, let's face it, it's, it's more a game of uh, chess than checkers. And what we're noticing is that some buyers are actually coming in and they are trying to scare other buyers away. And they'll do it by a few strategies. One of the strategies that you'll notice, Chris, is that they will create the impression to the person they're bidding against that they're not going to stop bidding, that they're going to keep going and keep going. So they'll do that by either starting the bidding very early or they'll do that by actually bidding really loud. So... Um, I noticed that happening. Other things that I notice is that uh, they'll dress. They'll dress like they've got a lot of money. They want to send a strong uh, a picture to the people that they're bidding against that they've got an endless wallet. Sometimes I see Chris that they they park their their flash expensive uh, European car in front of the property and walk out. Uh, making a grand entrance, letting people know that they've got money. Uh, but generally speaking, they're very loud and they bid very fast and they try and intimidate other buyers. Oh, look, I uh, saw that when I first came to Australia, Tom, when I was uh, checking out the auctions back in the late 90s. I saw a big fat guy in a big heavy pinstripe suit looking the money in the eastern suburbs and uh, just putting his wallet and there's no way you'd dare to, uh, to do anything. I did the opposite. I'd turn up on my scooter and a pair of shorts and T-shirt looking all sweaty from climbing the hills to try and look the poorest and say, oh, no, you can't squeeze any more money out of me. Oh, I've got to tell you, Chris, I reckon that that is your British brain operating there. <laughs> <laughs> but now I, now I do the pinstripe suit thing, Tom. So, uh, again, you've just got to try whatever you've got to try. You try different things every week until you win. Well, all I can say is, Chris, that as confident as they are, everyone's got a limit. Exactly. Good to see you, Tom. We'll see you again next week. Thank you so much.